Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we're continuing on with our series 10 VGC content and our little theme this week, playing some of the more underused restricted Pokemon that we don't see so much in the meta. So today's team is based all around Curum White. You can see it on your screen in front of you now. We've got the Curum White, the Whimsicott, providing that speed controller. It's a bit more of a bulkier uh, Whimsicott in this team for reasons reasons why because we the choice scarf uh focus sash sorry is taken by the urshifu and i kind of prefer it on that pokemon in the whimsicott whimsicott can be quite bulky we've got it we've slowed it down doesn't necessarily always need that speed in, in you know we're going to be setting up the tailwind anyway so it's going to have that speed advantage so the bulkier variant with the mental herb which can be uh, super helpful against things like Tornadus that might suspect that it's slower than us, try and taunt us, at least it allows us to get combinations of things like Encore off, Tailwind off, and let Whimsicott stay on the field a little bit longer and function as we want it. Then we got the Urshifu, we got uh, a little bit of a throwback to previous formats or series, because we haven't seen too much of the Dark fighting Urshifu, the uh, single strike variant, uh, but bringing it to this match gives us a little bit of solidarity. Uh, the Dark typing is really nice in this team as well. Uh, then we got Volcarona, provides us with a fire type and also a little bit of redirection support that can be nice for something like Curum White uh, and other Pokemon on the team that can be a little bit more susceptible to kind of single target attacks so uh we've got to watch out for rock slide of course that's going to be something that does give us a bit of an issue but between urshifu and then the lander Asterian, uh we should be able to deal with the rock threats uh pretty pretty well um the reason for the never melt ice on the curum i would have went life orb there but obviously it makes more sense to be on the landerous in this team and then we're wrapping it up with the tapu finny as well gives us a nice water type gives us a little bit more stability and a way to change terrains as well uh, against things like Rillaboom that could cause us a few issues, I guess. So here's a the team. There is a poker base down below in the comments section. And uh, as always, we'll throw the rental code up at the end of the episode after a couple of games. So without further ado, friends, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, as always, like I like to ask, if you've played with Kieran White this format, and I don't imagine there's very many of you, or you like the idea of Kieran White, uh, let me know down in the comment section below and uh, give me your hot takes on Kieran and what you think it can do in this format. I think it has a hard time myself, but hopefully in today's episode we can prove that it's got a place in this metagame. Okay, first up today we have a team of Groudon, Venusaur, Charizard, Magnezon, Feramosa and Mimikyu. Cool looking team, something we haven't faced before on the channel. Got all the sun Pokemon here. Obviously, we don't need to worry about Gigantamax, Charizard, Gigantamax, Venusaur, because they're not things anymore. So we're less potent, uh, but not uh, any easier to deal with. The Venusaur with Sleep Powder makes it uh, a little bit obnoxious to deal with, but we do have Tapu Fini that can come in with the terrain. Kind of disrupt that. We've got to watch out for Trick Room from the Mimikyu, though. That's going to be a big... Thing that's going to make it very difficult for us to kind of get around especially if my opponent goes down that route got things to support in the trick room like the magnezon and that groudon um okay so we need to deal with the mimikyu i think that's a big kind of thing that we want to to deal with like straight off the bat can't ignore the pheromone so that it may come out as support there for it um i think whimsicott's nice because we can lock the the mimikyu into on call uh, that could be an option so when we Provides Tailwind support as well. Um, do we want Curum as our kind of lead to go to? Because, uh, I mean, we can do, but maybe something like Volcarona would be a little bit better here. Go Curum in the back, and then I think we do want something like Tapu Fini here. Although, Landorus probably does pretty well against the majority of this team. Um, you just kind of lose the ability to kind of negate, I guess, Sleep Powder from the Venusaur. Um, but bringing something like Landorus gives us a little bit more stability. We haven't got that double like poison weakness that we would have otherwise uh, with Wimmy and Tapu Fini against the Venusaur, which might make it a little bit more tricky to deal with. So let's get into this first one. I don't think it's going to be easy, but it's going to be an exciting one nonetheless. Hopefully we can do all right against this build. So Charizard and Groudon come out for my opponent. They've led perfectly into our leads of Volcarona and Whimsicott. But we do have, well, we can set our Tailwind up, right? Um, and we can protect Volcarona if we want, or we can just go for a Heat Wave. Um, you've got to expect that we'll probably lose Whimsicott here, but it would open the door then for something like 
um, Kyurem to come in and then just cause all sorts of havoc. So, uh, I mean, the other option is we just protect and then heat wave, right? And then we've got, we get some nice damage onto the ground on here. We could struggle, but, but I think he would have more useful for us. Boosted by the sun. Let's see. Let's go for that. Let's let's protect Wimmy here. Because then we can tell when the next turn, if we want, and then get Kyurem onto the field if we lose something like Volcarona. Hopefully we can take this off Charizard. I don't know, though. Volcarona actually dodges that attack. Uh, and we miss a heat wave on something, so what do we miss it on? On the Charizard, so we dodge each other's and Rock Slide coming out. That'll be enough to get rid of the Volcarona. But like I say, it does set us up to get Curum onto the field, which is ooh, Volcarona actually taking that pretty well. Uh, not ideal because now, like we wanted the heat wave to hit us and then take us down. To be honest, because now we're going to lose both Pokemon, really. But it's all right. We'll get the Tailwind up, and then we're just going to have to make the most out of what we've got when we bring Landorus and Kyurem onto the field. So it's going to be a hard sweep after this. So we'll we'll get a Heat Wave off. Of course, hopefully it hits both targets this time, which it does. Boosted by the Sun. Get some nice damage onto that ground and take it down to 50%. We'll take a Heat Wave in return. Oh, and they avoid the Whimsicott. So Whimsicott going to be able to stick around another turn. That's huge, huge for us because a Rock Slide will come out, I think, from the ground on here. Uh, maybe a heat crash. No, just another rock slide. But Wimmy, like I mentioned in, in the at the start of the episode, it is pretty bulky, so we're going to be able to take those attacks a bit better. And now opens it all for us to get Kyurem onto the field, uh, and we'll be able to deal with that Charizard pretty, pretty, pretty well. I wonder if the moon blast is enough to get the ground on. I'm not really worried about a rock slide from the ground on right now. Um, yeah, we just moon blast it, and then we'll go for a. Fusion Flare is probably enough to get it. I mean, Freeze Dry, it's neutral, probably gets it. I reckon, yeah, let's go Freeze Dry into the Charizard. Just in case they switch to something like Venusaur. But I mean, like, whatever happens, this is going to be enough to get the Charizard right. Yeah. So Charizard down. I'll take another Rock Slide, I would imagine. Moon Blast coming out. I don't know if this will be enough to get the Groudon, to be honest. No! <laughs> Precipice Blade's coming out. Do some nice fat damage. Jeez. <sighs> Hate Presbyter's Blade. It's so hard. It's so hard. Um, What comes in though? Is it going to be. Oh, it's a Magnezone. Huh. I mean, do we double up? Like, we don't want to take another Presbyter's Blade, but then. I mean, we've got Landorus in the back, right? So we don't need to necessarily worry. We deal with. It's just a problem with the Groudon protecting here, right? We'll take a Precipice Blade. I think what we'll do is we'll go from Moonblast into Magnazon. And then we go after. I think we have to go after. I think we go after the Magnazon here. Yeah, I think we Moonblast and we go Fusion Flare into the Magnazon. It's going to have Sturdy, which is the, the, the most annoying thing I would imagine. Or do we ignore Sturdy? I don't know, with our ability. Anyway, we get rid of the Magnuson, so that's a big threat. Gone. Um, I just felt like the Groudon more likely to protect here. Although, Precipice Blades can miss. Heat Crash coming out. Gonna be into Wimmy. Taking down the Wimmy here. Okay. Kyurem's gonna naturally outspeed Groudon anyway, so it'll be interesting to see what comes in from my opponent as our last Pokemon. It's just been back and forth here. There's not really been too much. Um... Switching from my opponent. It's a pretty fast paced game this first one, but okay, Venusaur. Mm. Tailwind's still in effect for one more turn. Okay, right. We could sub. I think we Earth Power and then we go Freeze Dry into the Venusaur. Because we will outspeed it even in the sun. So we should be able to at least take it down to its, its sash. Gotta worry about Sleep Powder, of course. So get rid of the ground on nice and easy. And then freeze dry should be enough to get the Venusaur. And that tailwind definitely coming in handy. Surprised we didn't see protect here and no sash on the Venusaur. So that is that. Well, nice way for us to pick up a win. It could have went 
easily the other way, I think, with different item choices from my opponent. But we'll take the win. We're off to a nice start, so we'll jump into game two. Next up today, we have a Kyogre, Sableye, Whimsicott, Grimmsnarl, Zapdos, and Chansey. All the pranksters on one team. And then we got Zapdos and Chansey. Chansey going to be obnoxious to deal with. Uh, so we're going to need Urshifu for that, 100%. Um, but we're probably going to need Urshifu in the back. I hate Chansey. I don't hate it, but you know, it's just not the most pleasant Pokemon to go up against. Hate's a very strong word. What are we going to see though? We've got Tailwind uh, going to support the Kyogre, so that's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. We've got screen support potentially. I think Curum does pretty well in this match, to be honest. We'll lead Curum. Um, I think we'll lead Curum Wimmy. Like I say, we want Urshifu in the back. And probably Tapu Finny, I think, out of everything. Yeah, Finny. Yeah, okay. It's pretty self-explanatory for us, I think, to lock in with the Finny here. So, I think the only thing that the Finny will struggle against a little bit is going to be the Zapdos. But, I mean, we've got pretty good ways to deal with the Zapdos outside of outside of the Finny anyway. So, and there's always a chance that we could get maybe a Calm Mind or two up. Prior to Zapdos coming onto the field, worst case scenario. But worst case scenario in this match is going to be the Chansey. You've got to hate seeing it. We just want... We want the end game to be Chansey versus Urshifu, and then we can just Wicked Blood a couple of times, and then that's that issue gone. Nice and easy when I say it like that. Ah, Chansey, 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 Chansey. But let's just think, it might not even come to this match. I would imagine it will though, we've got a lot of special attackers, so it makes sense for my opponent to bring the, the special attacking sponge to this match. Might even see it lead. No, Kyogre, Sableye, all right. Well, we've got to contend with, uh, obviously, Fake Out here from the um, from the Sableye here. We might be better off just double protecting this turn, just burn that Fake Out. Um, it's not like Sableye's got the ability to set any sort of speed control up here anyway, so I think, I mean, they can quash, but we've got a Dragon Out on the field and we've got a Whimsicott. Neither are really that bothered about a full power water spout. We'd rather that not deal with that, but of course, but at the same time, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. So we'll double protect. And we do have the freeze die, which should do an absolute chunk to this cargo. So there's a fake out. Water spout makes a lot of sense. And now I could imagine we see quash. Quash the quash there. But we are going to go for. I mean, yeah, we go. I mean, do we need the Tailwind here? Tailwind. We could Tailwind next turn. Uh, we can't. I think maybe go for a Moonblast into the Sableye here. But we'll take a, a Water Spout pretty comfortably, right? Uh, and we're probably going to get quashed anyway. At least that would be my bet. So, let's see. Can we freeze dry the Kyogre? Well, we might add speed. If it's not Scarf, we add speed it. So we should get it off. They don't quash us. Ooh, let's switch the Kyogre out. It's coming in. The Chansey. Fantastic. And a substitute on the save line. Well, well, well. And we get... Um, I guess the nice thing is that we've got Encore on, on Whimsicott. So we can... You know, we can shut the, the Chansey down if we want. We're just going to attack into the Chansey again, I think. Um, we just, yeah, I think we just freeze dry it. If we freeze it, then that's like a massive bonus. We can just encore the Chansey the next turn. Unless it locks into like minimize. And we kind of don't really want it locked into minimize, to be honest. Can't encore the save like because it's dark typing. But a Moonblast will be enough to take it down. So we just need to catch it once with a Moonblast. But Chansey already coming out. Substitute again from the Sableye. We do that all day long. I mean, you're just making room for this Chansey to get some, some attacks off. Freeze here would be phenomenal. I wouldn't even feel bad about it. Like, honestly, it's Chansey. Sub going away. I'm just gonna keep subbing and minimize. Oh my god. 
Hit. Minimize. Okay. Well. Um. Hmm. Just freeze dry again. I mean, we could. Hmm. Actually, what we'll do is we'll freeze dry. Ow. This is the annoying thing. We don't have a way to kind of hit the chancy regardless. Yeah. Mm. Do we want to just allow it to minimize? I mean, we don't want to allow it to recover, right? So let's just, let's just encore it. Encore shouldn't miss, I don't think. It can miss though, can't it? Yeah, okay, well, we'll just encore it. I don't want to allow it to recover, that's a thing. I think we just have to take this down to time, really, from now. Uh, the freeze dry will come out, and then we can get rid of the save line. We, just, we can ignore the Chansey for a few turns, right? That's what we can do. It can minimize all at once. As long as we can keep locking it into that, then that's fine. And then we could actually lock it in until it starts to struggle. But that's probably like 40 moves down the line. You know? Probably. Like, what's the PP on minimize? Why we need a pressure on? Unless, what's the ability on Curum, to be honest? Let's have a look. Is it pressure? No, Turbo Blaze. Well, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a better ability in general. So we can remove the save lie here. Ah, oh, this is not ideal. Not ideal. Okay, Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to chip down it and Wimmy. This is probably a good idea, to be honest. Um... Freeze dry will be enough to take it down, so we'll probably get the Moonblast. Avoid onto the chance, I imagine. Yes, and now Chansey is maximized. We don't what we don't want is um Psych Up Kyoga, because that would be pretty horrendous for us, right? That'd be the worst. I knew this Chansey, in Team Preview seeing it, I knew it was going to be a pain to deal with. I knew it. I knew it straight away. Uh, we'll go for the... F we'll just... we'll just double up. Just double up into Grimstorm, Moonblast, Freeze Dry. And imagine the combination might be enough. They may go screen support here though, which would make sense, like light screen makes a lot of sense for what we got. But like I say, we just need to come down to Urshifu against the Chansey, then we'll be alright. Chansey's... Encore probably wear out this turn, so we need to try and lock it down. Hopefully, it's not accuracy dependent move. And if it is, we just need to hope that we get lucky. So let's see what this does. This is a nice chunk. Hopefully, this will put it in range for a freeze dry the next turn. Yeah, I think freeze dry will get it the next turn. Um, is the encore going to end now? Yeah, encore ended. So we need to encore now. Freeze dry again into the Grim Snarl and then we'll Encore the Chansey and just lock it in again. Hopefully we can. Like if we can't, we're a bit screwed. But not super screwed. We just need to ignore the Chansey altogether. And make sure that we're clicking our moves pretty quickly. Ooh, taunt would be better in this situation, but I do like Encore for the fact that you can Encore like Trick Roomers and then they can reverse your, their Trick Room for you. It makes it difficult for them to kind of function. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, Encore, we now know, is not uh, accuracy dependent. It is accuracy dependent. So, not ideal. But we do get rid of the Grim Snow. The light screen is up. We just need to remove the Kyogre, and then we can. Oh my god. I'm not locking it into Calm Mind. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What? Why, why are you doing this to us? A good. Opposing friend, Pokemon trainer. Um, right, well, Calm Mind, we'll just have to ignore it. We will just have to ignore it. There is nothing we can do. Um, what have we got in the back? We've got Urshifu and Tapu Finny, I think. Have we? Yeah, Urshifu and Tapu Finny. Okay, we need to freeze dry the Kyogre. Um, and. Do Moonblast, do Moonblast the Kyogre. I just really don't want to see Psych up. 
because that'll be horrendous. I mean, we can lock it into Psych Up, right? We can just keep going for it. We get the freeze drive first. Hopefully that's enough. And then hopefully the wind does add speed. Oh, the light screen, massively, massively helpful. It's going to have a water spot off. Not very powerful. It will go down to another freeze drive in the next turn. So we can set up that end game with the ocean food. And hopefully uh, she can pull through and be the reason why we picked it. Show, show the world why we picked it. And another calm mind coming out. Yeah, there's not really too much we can do, friends, in this situation with that Chansey. It's pointless risking a, an encore at this stage. I mean, we can do it now. I think now is probably a good time because the free drive will get the Kyogre. We can lock it in and it just ties it up. It stops it from being able to utilize uh, its recovery and it's um it's attacks whatever attack it's got uh which i'm kind of curious about to be honest if you're calm mind and you think you've got some sort of special attack to, to utilize maybe hyper voice but is you a bit susceptible to to ghost types i guess but um anyway kyogre gone finally and then and then we need to deal with this chancy. We just need to wait for something to go down. Can't mind coming out again. I mean a freeze dry hit and freeze would be ideal. But the chances of that happening are pretty, pretty slim. Pretty slim. Slim Jim. So, Urshifu, we just need to wait for you, friend, to come in. Now it's fine. We will earth power. Uh we will freeze dry. And we will encore once again. Hopefully the encore hits. Come on, Encore. Yay, there we go. That's what we like to see. The freeze dry, if it hits, it's going to do absolutely nothing. But we know this Chansey cannot uh, attack for a few turns. So it gives us the opportunity to potentially just switch our board position up here. Um, I mean, we could double switch this next turn. Not really going to help us too much. But I mean, it does give us the option where we could potentially start calm minding up with Tapu Fini and just start laying some smack with Urshifu. It's where you really want Darkest Lariat here. Sacred Sword, one of the two. But at least we get the terrain up because it could be one of those really obnoxious like toxic, toxic chances as well. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Just do the, do the right thing my friend and uh, forfeit. Forfeit right now, that would be I don't think they're gonna though. I don't think it's gonna happen. Can we just finish this match in the 30 minutes? That's what we want. We we're, we're we've got a bit of time. Oh we have haze, we got this Finny. Okay, this this is What are we worried about? What are we worried about? <laughs> I forgot I was like, we've got the leftovers. But in this team it makes sense because it gives us the way to deal with um, it gives us the way to deal with uh, Xerneas, I've just remembered. So, drag this out for no reason. This is why Haze is the literal best move in the game. Get rid of all those minimized boosts. Just chancy. yeah. Now we might see the forfeit. Hooray! We're gonna get to finish this in good time as the rain stops. Finny is just the best as the Encore ends. And we will go for a Moonblast and we will go for a... Have a Wicked Blow. Wicked Blow. Wicked Blow. Close combat probably a little bit more. Maybe? Nah. Of course not. Um, now my opponent's crying. It's what we like to do at Chance of Fairs though, isn't it, friends? The blow not quite enough. We'll get it the next turn. They're all they can do soft boiled here, right? Ooh. Special attack drop. I mean they can attack us, but yeah, they're soft boiled. And we'll just cloth combat. There's a light screen gone. Um, let's haze again. Because we can just haze away our cloth combat drops, which makes sense, and we get rid of the calm mind boost as well at the same time. So it works out pretty well for us. Although we don't need it, because Urshifu just the champ, and we do take the game. So, very good game to my opponent. As I sit here pretty smug after that. I hate Chansey. But we did have the right Finny and I totally forgot about it. So bad on my behalf. But I think 
overall we played it well knowing in the position that we could get in and just lock the game up so it worked out pretty well in the end and now friends we will jump over and take a look at the rental car for today's team Okay, friends, here is the rental cup for today's team. If you do try it out, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Curum White is definitely a very cool Pokemon and does a lot of work in the current format. Got to watch out for Zashin, of course, because it does threaten it pretty hard. We've got ways to get around that. Volcarona helps out massively with that. Landorus in the right situation, especially under Tailwind, really helps out. You've got Haze on the Finny, which we did forget about, but it comes in handy against those obnoxious Chansey stat boosting teams. And uh, the light screen, obviously, really good in general for the team overall all um so like i said there is a team if you do try it out please let me know down below i always love to hear uh from you and uh, thank you so much for your time for watching today's episode uh we'll be back again tomorrow with more vgc series 10 action so stay tuned for that and uh have a good rest of your day take care of yourselves more importantly than anything i'll see you on the next episode friends take care bye bye